Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol XTNT. We'll take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very, very nice movement with price. And then when you can fa factor in that volume was by far the biggest it's had. I mean, you look at how much volume happened, and then you look back through the history. I mean, the amount of volume that happened today essentially makes it look like this you know, chart has never had volume before. So great volume day, and then the price, like I said, reacted very nicely with it. So let's map out some levels of support. Then we can talk about areas of resistance. The really the big level of support in my mind going into uh, you know really the remainder of the week is this level right here at 72 cents. Why is 72 cents so important? Well, hope, I'm assuming I can stay you know speak for everybody when I say that after such a big move like this, nobody wants to see the price go back to where it was. And I realize back to where it was is kind of a broad statement, but that's the cool thing about charts. When you use charts, you can quantify statements and assign numbers to them. And that's where 72 cents comes into play. Assuming that the price continues to hold above 72 cents, I say continues because you can see right there, the bears did try to press down below it, but the bulls did a good job. But in the event the price does not do that and you know does not repeat history and the price you know breaks down here or worse that separates to the downside, at that point in time, that would literally be putting the price right back into this range of the chart. And again, I, I think I can speak for everybody when I say nobody wants to see the price going back to where it was. You want to see progress going forward. Whereas again, the price does what it already did, bounces you know off 72 cents a few times and then heads back up. You know, what would that give you from a big picture perspective? Well, that'd give you a set of lows right here. The previous set of lows would be down there. And if you picture each one of those as stair steps, you, know, you have overall stair steps going in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And again, I'm defining and quantifying make progress as 72 cents. What about areas of resistance? So if this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? The two main ones that stand out, shorter term one right here at 83 cents, and then more of the significant one right up here around that 90 cent mark. Yeah, I realize the price did go up above it, uh, but from kind of where the, the quote unquote congestion is, I think we can agree that the main point of congestion seems to be right around there. There's quite a few data points at that level. But before we talk about 90 cents, first level that's gotta be broken above is 83. So nice way to start off the week. Sure, there was a bit of a pullback, but the bull still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. So we'll see if they can get that done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.